Hi everybody, it's Cindy at Upcycle Design Lab. Today I have a quick video to show you a finished project that I've made using some of the other tutorials that I've previously posted. So I'll be linking to those throughout the video up in the corner over here. Uh, before we get started on that though, I do want to say that I am going to be announcing the winner of the metal straws at the end of this video. A few weeks ago I did a video on some eco-friendly products and I just wanted to promote them and this is a product that I don't really think I'm going to use so I wanted to give it to somebody who will. So I'll be announcing the winner at the end of this video. Um, the first thing you need for the project for today is one of my favorite new little toys. It's the Fuseworks Microwave Kiln. It allows you to fuse and melt glass in your microwave. And uh, pre I've pretty much used it for small jewelry projects to date, but I wanted to work on a bigger project, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, the other thing you're going to need is some kind of bottle cutter. This is the G2 bottle cutter. I've also done a review on this product. And um, obviously you need some glass, but this bottle cutter allows you to get some nice big rings and, and some sort of more flat pieces to work with. You also probably want some smaller cutting glass cutting tools. You can get some, uh, these are some wheeled cutting tools. And also there's a, I have a scoring tool that I use to cut the glass. The shape we're going to be making is what I call a constructed shape. Um, it's several different pieces that are kind of stacked and layered and then fused and you end up with a nice well, sort of a misshaped ring, but sort of interesting different shapes. And then the last thing I do use a lot uh, is this little sanding block. Um, a lot of times you end up with sort of pointed ends on your pieces and you just need to knock them down and this is a really good tool for that. You can find them at hardware stores, Home Depot, Harbor Freight, places like that. They're not too expensive. So um, that's pretty much all you need for making this project. It is quite a bit bigger than my jewelry projects, but I'm kind of excited. I had a lot of different bottle colors, so I made a wind chime. And it's just hooked together with some uh, large jump rings and some wire. Pretty simple design. but. I like how it turned out. So you can make uh, larger pieces in the kiln uh, if you use your imagination a little bit. I'm going to try to come up with some other things as time goes by. But uh, let me get to the winner of the straws. Uh, Autumn Grace actually said she had a good use for the straws was very excited to have them. So Adam, Autumn, you are the winner. Um, if you can just go to my YouTube channel, there's a tab that says About, and if you click on that, you should be able to get to my email address, and you can email me and just tell me your address, and I will ship the straws off to you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy eco-friendly things and upcycling as much as I do, and if you do, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and checking out my blog at www.upcycledesignlab.com.